Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Fit Investor 5. And today is going to be a little bit of a financial tip here. As entrepreneurs, typically we, we look for side hustles, especially before we get into our entrepreneurial journey. It's one of the indicators that you have some hidden entrepreneurial skills. And one thing that I have started doing, and I started it earlier this year just to give it a try, and it's been working out pretty well, so I kept doing it, is Turo, which Turo is a marketplace, an online marketplace and platform for renting out your car. Um, just think of it like the short-term rental site for cars, the Airbnb for cars. And it's very easy, user-friendly uh, website and everything. And basically you just list your car, set your pricing, just like you would with a short-term rental property and let the bookings come in. Now, I have done this with minimal effort, meaning I have not done any marketing, any any optimization, anything really. I, I put the my, my cars up on there to test it out, put in pricing that seemed decent for me and relatively within the market range and have just left it and let the bookings come in. I, I don't adjust things. I don't check on the listings. I don't really do anything with it. Uh, and so far, it's been pretty consistent. And mind you, I don't live in a major metropolitan area. If I did, I'm sure it would be doing even better. But even where I live, which is a relatively suburban location, it's done surprisingly well. So I'm going to give you guys a rundown and show you what it's all about here. Let's share the screen. Okay, so... Here you can see, this is just the homepage for your listings. Uh, I listed both my vehicles. Uh, I have a 2020 Nissan Leaf and a 2023 Tesla Model 3. When one rents, I just block the other and vice versa. Yeah, unfortunately, there is no real automation or syncing between listings. So you can't sync the calendar from one to another. So it automatically blocks them. So it is, it's still a bit clunky in that regard if you do make a business out of it and have multiple listings, it is still going to be a manual system in terms of the syncing and everything, which is unfortunate. But anyway, let's just look at the Tesla. This is the one that mainly rents out. And so we'll just open this up. And you can see, I didn't even do professional photos. I just took it to a park down the road and, and took some photos. And they have, I don't know, it's weird. When you upload the photos, it crops them strangely. That's why it looks like that. And again, I didn't even adjust anything. Whatever, the photos are okay from the iPhone, but nothing fancy or special, all right? So anyway, you can see it's at 11 trips, five stars, great. I guess for this date range here, which it's actually rented out currently, $57 a day, it has a little discount for, I think, yeah, three plus days or something like that. That's why you see the little strike out in the, or strike through in the discount. You put in the miles that you'll allow, and you can even put in extras, like I offer you know, some beach gear, uh, custom fit Tesla air mattress, bike rack, child seat, prepaid EV charge. You can do all those things. You can offer delivery. So you can see the reviews. Again, all five stars. They have a similar system like Airbnb Superhost, which I just received that status. But yeah, so it's pretty simple to set up. And let me just show you how it's been performing. So I started in the middle of May, right? And so the very first month, middle, only half a month, really, it brought in $600 and $634, great. And then 981 in June, 1200, July, 1000, August, another 600, September, October was pretty quiet, 100 bucks, whatever. November has been pretty good so far, 626. And actually just a couple minutes ago, another booking came in for another 150. So it didn't update yet. So that's really what, close to 800 uh, now for November. And we're only in the you know, first week here. And it looks, we should be getting into peak season as well with the seasonality. So I expect it to keep going up. So overall, in the six and a half months that I've had it listed, it's generated a little over five grand. I think it's like 5,400 or something. Average that out, comes out to about $830 a month. Uh, the payment on the Tesla is $630 a month. So turned a liability into a cash flowing asset. Not too shabby. So 
this is how you can pay for a brand new car and actually turn a brand new car into a cash flowing asset or a used car instead of having it be a liability. So just a little fit investor tip. You guys should check it out. And hey, if you have an extra car, why not list it and make a little money on it? Take care. See you guys on the next Fit Investor 5.